Good morning, Byron Schools. Welcome to the Byron News Network. My name is Brielle. And I'm Ashley. Today is Wednesday, October 5th, 2016. It is a B day. Reminder there's pill pull at today after school. Go down to the gym after third bus room and have a ride ready to pick you up at 4 30. All peer leaders, please stop by Miss Hooker's room to get a permission slip for the year as well as a middle school summit. Safety patrol is going to Sky Zone. All active members of the safety patrol who apply prior to our November meeting will be eligible to attend the Sky Zone trip in May. Your next meeting will be October 18th in Miss Hurling's room 117 following the third bus run. Get a permission slip from the main office and return it to Miss Hurling prior to the meeting to attend. Also, make sure you have a ride home at 415. See Miss Hurling if you have any questions. Greeters interested in applying to Sussex Tech, please make sure Sussex Tech Wow Day field trip permission slips are in to Mrs. Wolock no later than Wednesday, October 12th. Please see Mrs. Wolock to choose which shop you would like to visit at Sussex Tech. Once you turn in your permission slip, the first meeting of the yearbook committee will be held Thursday, October 6th, immediately following the last bus run. Any 8th grader interested in joining the yearbook committee should grab a permission slip outside of Mrs. Boyer's STEM room and return it prior to the first meeting. Soccer team, the boys play away today, taking on North Warren. Bring your blue uniforms. There's a co-ed game tomorrow at home. Yesterday, the girls lost 4-0 to in a hard-fought game against the much older North Warren team. Shannon played an unbelievable goal unbelievable game and goal. Elise, Meredith, Riley, Jackie, and Jordan all played great games and fought hard right up to the final whistle. Attention all students interested in student council. Grade level representative and candidate packets are now available. Please uh, pick up a candidate packet from Mrs. Taylor's room 107 or the main office. Grade level representative packets are available in the main office and are open to fifth and eighth graders. Officer positions are open to specific grades. All paperwork and speeches are due to Mrs. Taylor by Friday, October 7th. Campaigning will start on October 12th. Today's band lessons are 5th grade trumpets, period 3 and 4, all percussions, 7 and 8, and French horns, periods 13 and 14. Tomorrow's lessons are tubas, periods 3 and 4, baritone horns, and trombones, periods 7 and 8, and tenor saxophones, periods 13 and 14. Also, county band permission slips and checks are due in to Mrs. Cornella as soon as possible. The first meeting of our STEM Robotics Club will be held after school this Wednesday, October 5th, immediately following the last bus run in the STEM lab. Students in grades 6 through 8 interested in participating in the first LEGO LEAD comp competition, please see Mrs. Boyer for more information and a permission slip. Coming up on Sat Saturday, October 22nd, NECON is hosting our color run. It will take a place at NECON Elementary School, and the registration is $30. You will get a free t-shirt for participating. Finally, the rampage is starting up this week. The first meeting will be Thursday, October 6th. Permission slips can be picked up at Mr. Hammer's room or in Mr. Clay Clayton's room. On Wednesday, October 12th, there will be a drama club interest meeting for from 3.30 to 4 in the all-purpose room. Anyone interested in being involved should attend the meeting. There are permission slips in Mrs. Spore's room, 203, in the main office. The Byron Environmental Club is starting Monday, October 17th, after school in Mrs. Randall's room until 4:30. This year we'll be have we've this year we will have hooked on fishing as part of the club. In addition to caring for wildlife and hiking trails, you can get permission slips in Mrs. Randall's room, 103, in the main office. Finally today, there's a What's Your Anti-Drug contest going on through Friday, October 21st. The NJ Herald is accepting original stories, artwork, poetry, or photography, which tells the world what is your anti-drug. Information can be picked up in the main office. Now let's go to a quick commercial break. to respect the environment. On Friday, wear viral apparel or blue, blue and gold to respect of the community slash school. That's our week of respect. Will you be joining us? I'm Charlotte. And I'm Julia. For the week of respect, we're having a food pantry. 
We are donating food and personal items to the Sussex County Division of Social Services for families that need our help. The food pantry will be going on from October 3rd to 7th, 2016. Please bring in non-perishables. Some items you can bring in that families really need are pet food, canned vegetables, soups, shampoo, deodorant, and, and anything donated is appreciated. Welcome back to the BIS Sports Center. I'm your host, Gavin. And I'm Joe. Today, we will be going over last Monday night's football game between the Vikings and the Giants. The Vikings won 24-10 to against the Giants, and the Vikings had really good defense, and they shut down the Giants' offense. The Giants ended up with ha having two turnovers, one interception, and one fumble. Odell had a career low in receiving yards at only 23. Overall, the Vikings were able to capitalize off turnovers and was able to shut down the Giants the whole game. The Giants are now at a 2-2 two two record, and the Vikings are one of the only teams undefeated, and the other team is the Eagles. Now back to the studio. Today's weather will be a high of 68 degrees with plenty of sunshine. It will drop down to 45 tonight. Tomorrow will stay sunny with a high of 40 to 72. Now back to the studio. Now we go to the BNN reporters, Ben, David, and Aiden, who went out to cover a flag football game in Mr. Katie's class. Today we are interviewing the 8th grade Matt gym class. Let's go inside. How do you like flag football? <laughs> it was fun. Would you say you're good at it? Yes. How do you like flag football? Oh, it's cool. It's fun. Miss Mingles is a good teacher and I'm pretty sure Ms. K Mr. Katie is too. Would you say you're good at it? Uh, I cannot play, but I am the ref. Who's your favorite person in class to be on your team? Drew Togno. Why is he your favorite? He's cool. He's a good football player. How do you like flag football? I think it's fun. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Would you say you're good at it? I'm decent at flag football. <laughs> Who is your favorite person in class to be on your team and why? My favorite person? Probably Drew because he got battle scars and he kept going. So yeah. Today's quote of the day is from Sean Puff Daddy Combs. If you're chasing your dream, you're not running fast enough. Run faster. Have a Wumbo Wednesday. I Wumbo, you Wumbo, he, she, me, Wumbo. Wumbo, Wumboing. I wonder we'll if a fall from this Wumbo, height would be enough Wumbo, to kill me. Wombology? The study of Wumbo? It's first grade, SpongeBob. Patrick, I'm sorry I doubted you. Oh.